So here we have a scene in Unity created entirely with free assets. Many of them are actually open source assets too. So we're going to have a look at how we create a scene like this, starting with how to create a massive variety of characters like these that you see wandering around here. So let's get started using Uma the Unity multi-purpose avatar system. So we're starting this project with a brand new scene. We're going to open up the asset store. Let's just maximize that. We'll search for Unity multi-purpose avatar. And it should come up first in the list. Yep, there it is. We'll look at what some of these other things are later. Um, it is available source code from GitHub if you click this link here for the repository, but we're just going to import it from the asset store as normal. And that's it. So once you've got it imported, you need to set up your scene. So let's add a plane. Uh, the plane is for the UMA to stand on. We'll just make that a bit bigger. Let's make it 100 by 100. Okay, good. And next up, we need to bring in the UMA DCS, which is in UMA getting started. So UMA underscore DCS. And this provides all of the code needed to create your UMAs. Next, you need UMA dynamic character avatar from the same folder. And that's it. Just hit play. Oh, yeah, my, my plane's in the wrong place. So let's just reset it. There we go. And now we see our Uma. Okay, he's a bit far away. Uh, let's try and fix that up. So let's hit stop, go into the scene. And let's just move the camera. This ghost here shows us uh, roughly where the Uma is going to be. So we can set up our camera, select the camera when we have it in position in the scene, hit Control shift f and there we are. And now let's uh, let's do the lighting as well. Let's move the rotation so it's around about the front, so it's about 130. And I like to also put a spotlight on the main camera when I'm working with Umas. So let's throw in a spotlight, uh, make the angle about 60, so it covers the whole Uma, and maybe increase the intensity to about 2. This is just quick and simple. This isn't really good lighting, but it'll do. And there you go. There is our Uma. Let's make him a bit bigger. Fantastic. But what if we want to make a different kind of Uma? Well, over here we have our race. And if we select, for example, human female, we get a female. Awesome. But we can have an elf. Look at the ears here, quite a lot bigger already. You can see them on the left here much more easily. Let's have a look at uh, the human girl. Yeah. Okay. And that's just a smaller female. Maybe a werewolf. Not a great model, but a good illustration of what you can do. Even more extreme, a car. Yep, you can make cars with Uma. It really is a very flexible tool. And we're going to have a look now at some of the ways in which you can be even more flexible. So let's have a look in here. Content, Contrib, and we have here a whole load of folders that look like they might have things for our Umas. Let's try them out. Let's put some male short hair on here. And let's also go for a male hoodie, uh, some sweatpants, and some shoes. It'll probably be a good idea. There we go, tall shoes. All right, excellent. So now let's hit play and see what happens. Look at that. We have a clothed Uma with hair. Excellent. So let's switch to female. Oh, uh, she's not clothed yet. Let's put some female clothes on. So in the editor here, in play mode, we'll add some hair, uh, some sweatpants. Oh, those are the male ones, so they won't work. Um, there we go, female sport pants. Excellent. And now ponytail, we've got the ponytail. Let's go with the shoes. And you can see the character being built up here in the game window. Um, so once you're done, um, well, you can see the results. But if you hit stop, these are going to disappear. Because like any other game object in editor, the changes you make at runtime are not saved. Um, so we have to set it up in the edit, in the play, uh, the edit mode. Um, we will see in a later video how you can actually save these setups um, so once you're in play mode. Um, but for now, let's just build them up in the editor mode. So we've dropped those back in. Let's go and hit play. And now we'll come back to the male, flick to the female, and she's clothed too. Excellent. Now there's a whole load of different recipes that you can use. If you search for the type Uma wardrobe recipe, a whole load will come up here. And, and these vary a great deal. So we can do hair. There we go, a different hairstyle. What else? Let's try a different uh, thing. Let's go with some different pants. There you go. 
Um, if I switch over to the mail again, I just want to show you something pretty extreme. Uh, troll head. There we go. Watch the head. Bang. We now have a funny shaped head, a troll shaped head. Uh, and that's done with DNA. So what else can we do with DNA? Well, let's have a look. So let's uh, put it back into play mode again. So we've reset our DNA. We no longer have the troll head. If we scroll down on our avatar, we find this UMA data script, which has all of these sliders. And we can change the DNA. So here we're messing with the length of the arm and then the width. And you can see if we go to the extremes of these sliders, that one's changing the breast. It's not so easily seeable here. Let's try uh, the hands. If we go to the extremes, they get a bit silly. And you might want to use them in certain circumstances. But if you stay around the center point of these, you can create a huge variety of characters. So let's uh, see what we do here. Let's uh, make the arms a bit longer, maybe make them a little wider, so give him no muscle on his chest. Uh, let's see, let's not do any of these uh, feet. There we go. Let's make his feet a little smaller. I'm kind of skipping over these other ones because you need the camera in close to see the difference. Um, let's shrink his hands down a little. Uh, what else have we got? Head we'll leave as it is. Legs separation. Oh, they look a bit strange. Let's, yeah, there we go. Separate them out a bit. Shorten them perhaps. Yeah. And let's go down. What else we got? Uh, oh, muscular. Yeah, we don't want him muscular. We probably want to give him a bit of. Uh, a bit of weight there uh, maybe make his uh, his height a bit less give him a bigger belly uh, and maybe a, a larger waist okay let's have a look i think his arms look a bit dodgy let's just get around the side there we go yeah his arms are a bit too long people don't typically have arms down that far so let's go and shrink those there we go and so what you're seeing here is, is a way of changing the look of the character, but you can also change the colors. So if we go over here and expand out character colors here, we can make the hair, well, let's make it red. There we go. And um, we can change the skin color. Let's darken up his skin a bit. Um, yeah, that's very dark. And then you can make it a little bit lighter still. So, you know, any color you would like for the skin there. And then you can also change the color of the clothes. So nice blue pants there, for example. Okay, so there you go. You have a lot of flexibility. So what can we do with that flexibility? What varieties can we create? Let's have a quick look. So let's go and delete our character avatar and go back to the getting started folder in UMA. And in there, we will find this UMA random generator character. Let's drop that in and hit play we get a randomly generated character. Awesome, let's try that again. And a completely different character. And again, completely different again, bit of a weird shape this time, but there you go. So what else can we do here? Well, let's change the grid size of the random generator to say 10 by 10 with a grid distance of uh, one. All right, and hit play and we get 100 randomly generated characters just like that just a few seconds 100 characters we'll uh, take a look down here the lighting and the camera position is not ideal to look at these but you can see a good range of different characters here which is pretty awesome so what else can we do well, let's just go over here to the settings in the uh, grid and make a random offset of about 0.5. Hit play. And now we'll get a less ordered crowd of Umas. So they're all dotted around a bit. Still, ten, still 100 of them, 10 by 10. But they're dotted around, not quite so uniform as they were before. And if we hit stop and hit play again, then I can see another 100 Umas set in a offset fashion. And there we go. Again, lighting's not great, but we can see that there is a huge variety of Umas here. But what if I wanted, say, just women? Well, let's hit stop, go over to the generator, and you see there's this random people randomizer object. Let's go into there, let's duplicate that. And in the new one we just duplicated, let's have a look what we have. We have a human female. Let's have a look here. Let's uh, let's change the DNA of this female. Let's reduce the maximum breast size. 
Uh, there it is. So let's just drop that down. Let's make that a bit more natural and realistic. There we go. Um, that's all we'll do. We'll be able to see that. And let's get rid of the mail randomizer. Excellent. Now let's make sure we're using that one. Uh, drag that across. Drop it into our random generator. Hit play. And this time we will get 100 females. No males. And there you go. So you can create a massive variety of uh, characters in next to no time. Uh, later on in later videos, we'll look at where you can get different types of clothing and get even more variety into your characters. Uh, but for now, I think that's enough. We are doing great work. So as a reminder, we're going to work towards a scene that looks like this using only free and open source assets. So I think in the next video, we'll look at how we can create the animations on the Umas, have them wandering around in crowds like this. So I'll see you then. Make sure you know when, we, when I publish. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button. Bye-bye.